Hello and welcome everyone to today's video. It's been quite a while and I was thinking about what video I'm gonna do for like the first regular video of me coming back and I figured I would do something that I truly love to make and that I feel like you guys really enjoy to watch and that is a video filled with fall and winter style inspiration. So all of the outfits that I'm sharing today with you are mainly from the 60s and 70s originally Everything is thrifted, some pieces are gifted, and some pieces are rather 60s and 70s inspired, but I truly feel like all of these looks embrace the classic 60s and 70s style. So for the first outfit, I wanted to go with something that I personally really love for the winter, and that is woolen dresses. So I really like them because they're pretty warm, and I also really love the style, so I have this gorgeous dark forest green one that also has the cutest little gold buttons. And as said, what I really like about this is that it's just very warm. I feel like this is a very timeless piece and I love to wear this all during fall and winter. So because that dress obviously doesn't have any sleeves or anything, there are actually two options that I like to style this and that is to either wear a turtleneck with it or a blouse. And today I decided to style a blouse with it and I actually decided to go with this one, this is a vintage inspired blouse. I got it gifted by Elfset. I worked with them a while ago and they gave me this gorgeous blouse. And I honestly truly feel like this goes really, really well under the dress because the details on the blouse go really well with the details on the dress. So obviously, depending on where you live, winter might be different. It might be colder or warmer. So for where I live, it gets pretty cold, but only a couple of days, I feel like. And so I usually go with these thinner tights. I feel like these work really well. I also have some woolen ones I'm gonna show you later. I set like different degrees of warmth or cold depending on where you live. I'm gonna be honest with you, I would love to live somewhere where it's really snowy and I know that it used to be like that where we live, but it's not really like that anymore. So we'll just see how the winter is gonna be. I also decided to add this really cool beret. I feel like knitted berets add a really cozy watt add a really cozy touch to an outfit and this one also reminds me a lot of Patty Boyd. I love that self-made look. I'm pretty sure someone knitted it them knitted this themselves and I feel like it is so lovely made that I love to wear this. And I also love to match the dark green with the dark green in the dress. And last but not least, I just went for a 60s staple with my white go-go boots. So this next look is very much inspired by a 1960s schoolgirl and it also has a color combination that I personally really love and that is brown and like light beige, almost white color. That was really popular in the 1960s, so I feel like it is perfect if you want to look like you just stepped out of the 1960s. So I started with this little mini skirt. I love the gingham pattern. This was really popular in the 60s. And I personally like to wear one thing patterned in an outfit. I always feel like it adds something really special. To match the beige in the skirt, I wanted to go with this turtleneck. I personally love to wear turtlenecks. They were a big trend in the 60s. And this one actually has some special knitting that makes a really cool effect. So I really love to wear these in the winter. Next, I added some woolen socks. So these are really high, they go all the way above my knee, but I feel like knee-high socks are often better for a 1960s look, so I just folded these down. And then I added these loafers that just have a classic heel and a really beautiful buckle. These are really special to me. I thrifted them one of the last times that I went thrifting, which has actually been like a couple of months. I really wanna go thrifting again, and I'm gonna take you along with me very soon. But these are by Salamander, which that is a German brand that I'm very familiar with because it's actually located pretty close to where my grandparents' house used to be. And so when we would go there and I needed shoes as a kid, my mom would always take me there. So when I found these, I got really excited. These are also in great condition. And I feel like these work really well for a 1960s schoolgirl look. And then last but not least, I added a fur hat. I personally love these. I feel like I say this in every video whenever I show fur. And that is basically that I would never buy a fur product new. I feel like it is horrible what has been done to animals to have fur hats. But I feel like buying them pre-used, or this one is from my stepmom's mother. So this has been around for so, so many years. And so I feel like it is sustainable to actually wear them. Plus they keep you really warm. It is such a gloomy day today outside. I feel like it keeps getting darker and darker as I'm filming. So 
Maybe it'll look better if I just... Oh yeah, that is actually a little more cozy, so <laughs> we'll go with the lamp on. Also, this is a little random, but I'm currently in my new living room. We are not done with decorating this space in any way or form, and I'm probably not gonna film in here forever. I might move around in this room, just go wherever I want to go. But I don't want to have like a dedicated studio place in this apartment like I used to have in the old apartment because this is a rather functional apartment, I feel like. And this is just a little mid-century dresser that we have and I kind of like decorated it a little. It's gonna change, I'm gonna film in different places. I might do a home tour. I know a lot of you requested me to do a home tour and like a little video on decorating and I'm definitely gonna do that but we're just not really that far with this apartment yet. So I feel like it's probably gonna take a little bit, but I'm definitely gonna do a video like that. Moving on, I have another outfit with a beautiful dress for you, which is this one. I thrifted this in Budapest in June, I believe, and I just love the color combination of brown and light blue. I honestly feel like this is such a cute look. And this dress actually is lined on the inside. I feel like a lot of 60s dresses are, but with this one, being lined and having a long sleeve. It just really keeps me nice and warm and I really love to wear this during the winter. Plus, it still fits me, which I just wanna address this really quickly. I addressed it in the video before, so I feel like a lot of you already know, but if you're wondering why some of the pieces might look a little different on me, I'm currently five months pregnant, so not all of my clothes are fitting me the way that they used to before, but I love these looks. I kind of put together what I currently like to wear and what still fits me, so if you're wondering why some pieces look a little different, that's why. But yeah, this dress was definitely self-made and hand-sewn by someone. It is so dreamy and I really wanted to style it for this video because I've been wearing it a lot lately. So to go with this, I wanted to keep it really simple. I just added these brown glasses. These actually used to be the first pair of glasses of like prescriptive glasses I ever had. They don't really have the right vision for me anymore, but I still like to wear them because for me, it's better to wear these than to go completely without. But I also thought that this little timeless frame would go really well with the dress. I also love to wear hats during fall and winter. I'm actually gonna do a video all about styling hats from the 1960s and 70s because I feel like they were such a big trend back then. That is gonna come really soon but I added this really cool caramel brown beret. And I can't help, but this one reminds me so much of Patty Boyd. I feel like she had one in this color that she wore a lot and I honestly feel like it's a very flattering color. You already know these boots were in this video, but these are my favorite brown boots. These are just suede leather. They are so, so great. I've had them for years, I wear them almost every day to be honest. These are just my favorite boots and they go really well with the look. So if you're just starting out to dress in a 1960s inspired way, I would definitely recommend you to not only get a white pair of go-go boots, I feel like these are very much the trend and a lot of people recommend you to get these first. But for me personally, I kind of feel like these brown suede boots actually work for a lot more looks. And last but not least, I added my favorite winter coat. This one is so, so heavy and warm. I thrifted this years ago in Brighton. My mom used to live there for a little and I went up there and visited her and I thrifted this and I've been wearing it ever since. If you get a heavy leather coat like this, don't worry if it's like stiff and kind of feels weird at first. It's gonna take a while for you to break it in. It's just because they've been in closets for so long that the leather gets a little stiff, but once you break them in, they will fit you like a glove and they're actually really comfortable. Moving on, this next look is more late 60s inspired. And I kind of wanted to style a more groupie-esque look because I feel like a lot of the groupie outfits you see are actually for spring and summer. So I wanted to show you how you can wear that style during winter. So I got this dreamy turtleneck. This is actually wool, so it's really, really thick. And I don't know if you can tell, but you will definitely be able to tell in the try-on clips. This actually has balloon sleeves that kind of come out until a little bit above my elbow and then they have tight sleeves, which just makes for a really, really unique look. 
to style this i went with some leather shorts i feel like these were really popular in the 60s especially among the groupie scene i thrifted these such a long time ago i wear them all the time they're not real leather it's like a fake sort of leather but i just wear these so so much that it was definitely worth it so even though it's not tremendously cold where I live, I like to wear tights in the fall and winter. And so I decided to go with these ones that kind of have like a paisley pattern. I'm actually currently working on a video that will go up really soon as well. And that is a little history on 1960s and 70s tights and how I like to style them and how it was popular to style them back then. Because I feel like they're such a big piece of fashion and I feel like tights aren't really that modern anymore so if you wear them you will already go for a 1960s look especially if they're white but if you're interested in learning more about tights stay tuned subscribe to my channel i will upload a video all about that really soon to add some color and something very magical because i feel like a lot of groupie looks especially inspired by the gto's kind of had that magical otherworldly look to it i decided to go with these boots, I feel like I thrifted them with you in a video. They kind of like have a cowboy boot shape. They're a little big on me, but I love them so much. I just make it work. I just put like some insoles in there. They're actually lined with leather. And then the outside is just this beautiful fabric that has these really cool stitches and embroidery all over them. As said, I wanted this to be a late 60s eclectic kind of groupy inspired look. So I also added this vest which is made from velvet and just has the prettiest little detailing down the front. I also added this bangle. I love to wear bangles on top of long sleeve knitted outfits. I feel like it always adds something really special and it always kind of adds that Anita Pellenberg coolness. I also added this velvet headband that I got at a flea market in Berlin when I was like 19. So it's definitely been a while, but I love to wear this and I feel like it truly brings the outfit together. And then last but not least, I added a belt and I wear this all the time and I honestly feel like it just goes really well with the shorts and the look. And then I also added this necklace, which is just a really long pearl necklace. And I just kind of go like this and then wear it doubled. And then it has this really cute little magic container down here that you can actually open and put like some perfume or like a little magic potion in. Let's do one look with pants next. I decided to go with some velvet flares. These are just dark brown and these are definitely not vintage. I thrifted them, but they're rather like 1960s inspired. They have a stretchy waistband, which is really good for me currently. But overall, these are just a great staple for a late 1960s, 1970s inspired wardrobe. I wanted to keep it rather simple. So I decided to go with a white turtleneck. This is like my biggest 1960s staple tip. I always recommend to people, which basically is if you're just starting, get a white turtleneck, get a black turtleneck. That will help you out with all your outfits. Like layering turtlenecks is actually, I feel like the best thing you can do for a 1960s and 70s look. And so just getting a few in different colors is always great. So I kind of went two different routes when styling this. One of them was to add this Baker's Boy hat which I feel like is great for a rather beatnik inspired look. This really much reminds me of Francois Hardy and I feel like it goes really well with the look. And then for the other route, I kind of wanted to go for more of a hippie-esque look. So I added this beautiful necklace and then I also added this vest, which I've had for quite some time. This is actually way too big for me. I got this in the men's section, but that is a big tip from me if you're going thrifting and you're looking for 1960s and 70s pieces check out the men's section because with a lot of things like vests and stuff it doesn't really matter if they fit you perfectly and to finish this look i decided to go with my favorite chunky platforms these are so amazing i thrifted these as well and i love the wooden heel they are very very heavy and i feel like platform shoes like these go perfectly with flare pants for the next look, I really wanted to show you how I like to style these little capes because they were really much in fashion in the 1960s. I feel like this is such a fab piece. It is made from fake fur, just black and really, really cozy. And it definitely adds a lot of warmth to your look. So for this outfit, I wanted to keep it really simple and kind of just in the black and white spectrum because my idea was to kind of go with pieces that have more of a special cut instead of bright colors. So let me show you what I mean. 
First thing, this is not really special at all. I just added a black mini skirt. This just goes with everything and as said, I wanted to keep it in the black and white spectrum. So for my top, I decided to go with this blouse that has this really unique collar and all these fabric covered buttons, which is something I really love. This is also something that you will find in a lot of real vintage pieces, like if something is really old or like a true piece from the 60s and 70s, chances that the buttons are covered in fabric are actually really high. So this is great if you want to spot like an original piece from that time. And then I also love these ruffled balloon sleeves. I feel like I've talked about this before, but during the 1960s, there was definitely a medieval revival trend. And I feel like this outfit really much plays amongst this. For shoes, I decided to go with these white lace-up sandal gladiator boots. I don't really know how to explain these. I just love them so, so much. These were actually a gift by the Hippie Shape. I'm gonna link everything that you can still currently buy in the description box. I know that a lot of people are very much into sustainability and I am too, but I sometimes get amazing gifts from brands that I really want to support and the Hippie Shake is one of these brands. I love their pieces so much. I love for you to be able to shop what I'm wearing because I always get a lot of questions. And their founder and owner, Naomi, is such a sweet soul. We've been actually texting back and forward for a while now and she always gives me little gifts from her new collection. So these boots are just perfect for that medieval 1960s look but I kind of felt like that on its own was a little cold and so I decided to pair it with these stockings these are cotton stockings and as you can see they're pretty stretchy and really really long so these pretty much cover all of my legs and I felt like for this look it was best to roll them down and to have them stay a little bit above the knee I just feel like that works the best for this outfit so last but not least, I wanted to style another really cute and classic 1960s look. So yeah, this is what I came up with. I personally love to wear cardigans as tops and it was really popular in the 1960s. So I have this one, which is a really like thick and sort of rather stiff knitted cardigan that I really love. I feel like this is also a very unisex piece and it actually has these really cute little details down here that I truly love. This keeps me really warm and if it is like crazy cold, like last year there were some days where it was so cold, like negative 10 degrees or something. So I just wore another woolen turtleneck underneath this. And it was actually really cozy. So since the colors in this jacket are white, navy, blue and red, I wanted to keep it in that color family because I love these three colors together. I started by just adding some classic white tights. And then I really love this suede skirt. It's actually not real suede. It just kind of has the look. It's a little stretchy. I've been trying to find out what brand it is because it actually has a tag, but I can't seem to find it out. But it looks really old. I feel like this is definitely from either the 60s or at least the 70s. And then to go with the suede and the red in the jacket, I paired these little booties with it. These are just ankle boots, basically. I love the shape and the fact that these are kind of rather squared around the toes. That was actually a big trend in the 1960s as well. I thrifted these. I feel like in a video as well. And I know that these were like five bucks and they say made in Italy down here. And they have an old price tag, which someone wanted 80 euros for that, which is like around $80. So that's quite a lot of money. So I'm really glad that I got these thrifted for five euros. And last but not least, I added this dreamy red beret to finish off the look. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend. It supports me, it supports the channel, and it will truly mean the world. Leave a comment down below telling me which outfit was your favorite and also if there are any pieces that you really love to wear during fall and winter. I would love to see all of your outfits for the colder day so make sure to tag me on Instagram if you post them so that I can tell you how amazing you look. I hope you have a wonderful day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine or the snow or whatever the weather is like where you are currently at. Spin a record you love and I will catch you in the next one. Bye everybody!